Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Horton HX2 Flying Wing will be available at AirVenture. XTI Aircraft Company successfully tests prototype TriFan 600. And Blue Origin unveils its Lunar Lander. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. Horton Aircraft plans to bring its HX2 Flying Wing prototype to AirVenture this summer. The prototype is based on the original design by Rymar Horton and incorporates a blended wing both technology made of carbon and glass fiber materials. Due to its low aerodynamic resistance, the flying wing goes farther and faster than similar aircraft with the fuselage. The design of the airframe makes it easily adaptable for installing new propulsion technologies. The aircraft is powered by a Rotax 912 engine, turning a pusher propeller, and it carries a little more than 60 gallons of fuel in two tanks. Horton is planning both unmanned and multi-seat variants of the airplane. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Now let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Saab plans to locate a new U.S. manufacturing operation in Indiana. The facility will be located in the Discovery Park District Aerospace on Purdue University's campus and will support the production of the U.S. Air Force's next generation TX jet trainer. 300 new jobs will also be created with hiring starting in 2020. The National Business Aviation Association praised the launch of the U.S. House of Representatives General Aviation Caucus and created an online tool for NBAA members to ask their elected federal representative to join the House Caucus. The caucus promotes the value of general aviation, including business aviation and its vital role in the nation's economy and transportation system. If you would like to use NBAA's resource to contact Congress, you can find it on their website at nbaa.org. EAA recently filed an amicus curiae in the U.S. Supreme Court, urging the court to reverse the decision made by the Third Circuit Court of Appeals in the case of Sigley v. Precision Air Motive et al. The lower court held manufacturers can be held liable for failing to implement design changes under product liability standards, even if the product complies with the applicable FAA type certificate. The EAA wants the court to declare FAA-approved designs preempt state law standards imposed by the courts. Only a few hundred of the $500 general aviation ADSB rebate reservations being offered by the FAA remain. Don't miss the final opportunity to claim an equipage rebate and get ready to fly by January 1, 2020. Reservations are available through October 11th as long as they remain available. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Un einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies, and we stand behind you. Hey! 
XTI Aircraft Company has conducted the first test flights of its 65% scale prototype of the TriFan 600 VTOL aircraft. The prototype completed multiple takeoffs, hover, and landings, which tested and validated the electric motors, battery power system, ducted fan propulsion, flight controls, and other electrical systems. The aircraft was on a short tether during the test due to its location at an airport in Northern California. Future flights at a certified UAV test facility, however, will be untethered and will test forward, wing-borne flight, as well as transition phase between vertical and forward flight modes. Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, is working on a lunar lander capable of landing large payloads of multiple metric tons on the moon. The lander will be called Blue Moon and plans to take Americans to the moon by 2024. The goal of the lander is to help the building of orbital space colonies several generations from now. The lander will be powered by the new BE-7 engine, which is designed for large lunar payload transport. The engine's propellants are a combination of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. The top deck and lower bays easily accommodate a wide range of payloads, including ESPA class payloads with standard ring port interfaces. There are lower mounting locations for payloads, useful for closer access to the lunar surface and offloading. And that wraps up our show for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you're looking for the latest aviation aerospace news, check out aero-news.net. Have a wonderful day.